and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the best players at each position in Madden right now. You guys have been asking for this. A lot of you guys are wondering who should I pick up, who's to do, who should I get, who's better than each other. So I feel like this video answers all those comments instead of individually answering all you guys on those questions because they're circumstantial, right? I'm gonna give you guys my thinking behind cards, why I would or would not use them, or if they're kind of similar and why you might want them. I feel like that's a lot more helpful than me just giving you guys because it's not it's not a straightforward answer. Like, should you get Saquon versus should you get Dickerson? It's not straightforward. It, it really depends on your team, depends on how you like to play. So we're going over all that, guys. Before we get into the video, guys, the giveaways are still going on. All I gotta do to enter the giveaways is like the video, comment down below the number of like you are, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all this thing you're to win, every 80 likes is 10k. Now let's get into this video nice and early because these videos typically take a while. So starting off at quarterback, in my opinion, guys, I'm gonna give you guys two here because obviously, again, not another straightforward answer. In my opinion, the best quarterback in Madden right now, Patrick Mahomes. I don't count Lamar because no one's paying that price. The most affordable one that a lot of you guys probably have not is Patrick Mahomes by far. Can make every pass, can still run a little bit. Literally so good passing. It's 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 ridiculous. Nothing like I've been used to with Lamar Jackson. Now close second, guys. Who would I pick up? Who's the better long-term option? In my opinion, the better long-term option would be Michael Vick. Cheap, to, uh, cheap price, not too expensive. You power him up. We'll be getting an Ultimate Legend probably within the next month or so, not even, maybe three weeks. Two weeks could even be this weekend. But Michael Vick, definitely solid option. Then he'll, his next car will probably be the best mobile quarterback in Madden, so definitely just stay tuned for that one. Right now, Mahomes, future Vick. Now we get to the running back where you guys have all been so curious about. So let's, let's do the comparison real quick of Dickerson versus Saquon Barkley. Starting off price, Dickerson is cheaper, which is just lets you know that people think Saquon's better. But when you do compare them, when you do compare Saquon to Dickerson, Saquon has better better excel, better agility, better carrying, better catch it, catching, better looseness, and better break tackle. He beats Dickerson in pretty much every single stat. And the only one Dickerson beats him in is trucking. That's about it. So Saquon overall is a better running back. But it comes down to, again, do you prefer height? Do you, do you want bulldozer ability? And do you like to truck? Me personally, guys, I don't truck ever. I don't think I've trucked all year. I don't. I just don't truck. I juke. I juke. I stop and go. I, I wiggle. I do not. I just don't truck. It's just it's inefficient to me. For three extra yards versus 80 yard touchdown. Just there's so much more risk reward on that side of it. But Dickerson, he feels different, of course. He's Eric Dickerson. He gets a lot of animations. But so did Saquon Barkley. They're both guys who get really good animations. In my opinion, the more end game one is Saquon Barkley because he already has like a bunch of 99 stats. You really want him to upgrade him mo most likely for the rest of the year. You can take either one. I'm going with Saquon Barkley. When it comes to the line, guys, I don't really want to waste time here either because, again, another long one. In my opinion, when it comes to the line, you can take either one, whichever one fits your team. I would recommend Walter Jones. You power him up, you chem him up, you're done for the year. In my opinion, left tackle. Left guard. In my opinion, guys, Quentin Nelson, super solid. You can power him up and chem him up, of course. Now, I think Brian Waters might be better powered up and chemmed up, in my opinion, because Quentin Nelson's stats don't look nearly as good as Brian Waters does. The strength's great and all, but overall, I think the running pass will get better. Left guard, if you just power up, you can power up either one of them. Again, left. It's, when it comes up to the line, you just want to get a guy to 99 overall and be done with the line for the year. Center, Alex Mack, in my opinion. That's where I'm going. The run blocking is insane. You can get him to, like, powered up, chemmed up, all 99 run blocking, which is going to lead you to um, making ho ho hoes. holes, massive holes. And then, I like, I honestly, I really like Zach Martin. Brandon Sheriff's amazing in the run game, decent in the pass game. But most well-rounded, probably Zach Martin. He's going to be really good passing and really good run blocking. So I'm going to I'm going with Zach Martin personally at right tackle, at right guard. And then right tackle, I love Dan Deardorff and Ryan Ramsick. It really comes down to whichever one's cheaper at the time. Right now, it's Dan Deardorff. Ryan Ramsick's not too far apart. Ryan Ramsick is one of the best pass and run blocking right tackles, which is a very rare combo. And then Dan Deardorff is literally the exact same thing. So whoever's cheaper to power up and get all the way up, up to you, probably Dan Deardorff in my opinion. But they'll both get to 99 overall, so it's really up to you. Okay, so we got the lineman out of the way. So now I want to get to fullback, wide receiver, and tight end. Now, when it comes to fullback, this one, again, is a weird one. There's really no clear-cut answers. In my opinion, you either want a guy who can run block very well, or you want a fast guy. So Kyle, solid. I think all around, Kyle is one of the best multi-purpose fullbacks. If you throw it to them, you run with them, and you pass to them, and you you, you block with them, he's a solid option. Franco Harris, he's not a blocker. He's a, basically a running back that's kind of too slow that can kind of catch. He's another dual-purpose one but he can't block nearly as well as Kyle. So it pretty much comes down to if you use him more, go with Franco. If you block more, go with Kyle. Now, if I had to choose, I'd probably just wait for the, my personal opinion, Ultimate Legend Christian Okoye. 
gonna be Franco Harris that can block way better. And he's gonna be faster. I went for Okoye in my opinion. Now wide receiver. I think you guys have to be getting Calvin. I think Calvin's A1. You need to get Calvin on your team. He's wide receiver 1-1A. One, one you gotta get him. He's gonna be your, your main tall deep threat. Every can do everything on the field receiver. You need one of those. He can route run, he can catch, he's fast, he can jump, and he's tall. It's just you gotta get Calvin first and foremost. Then I like using Tory Holt. He's free. 98 overall for me. But if you're not gonna get Tory Holt, you definitely want Calvin first. Then Tyreek Kill is like that glitchy fast one. But as guys get more more athletic and he's not exactly standing out anymore, I'd recommend if this is like your end game lineup, I'd recommend you get Randy Moss powered up and Calvin. Once the new Randy Moss comes out, you're gonna have two six foot four, six foot five beasts. Get those two first, and on your slot, you can either mix it up with you can get a Tory Holt or just a glitchy guy like Tyreek Kill. Those are my three, four that I'd recommend you just shape your receivers around. And then tight end. As much as I love Tony Gonzalez, right now, again, these two are circumstantial. It depends on how you play. If you like a well-rounded guy that can do it all, go with George Kittle. Power him up. He'll get 91 speed. He'll be fast. He'll have a 90 run block. He'll be like an extra lineman. He can catch. He can route run. Amazing all around if that's what you do. If you're just a guy that likes to be glitchy with your tight end and just burn, burn people and just make big plays, Darren Waller's your guy. He'll end up powered up and chemed up to like a 94, 95 speed. Throw him up the seam. Gonna split the safety. He's gonna make big plays. Now, if you're a guy that uses your tight end like a wide receiver, that's where you want to go with like Shannon Sharp or even Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez is more the wide receiver type. I think I'm more of a George Kittle type of tight end kind of guy, in my opinion. Although Tony Gonzalez has been amazing, I'm waiting for his price to come down just a little bit more on Kittle before I end up making that switch. Now, let's get over to the defensive side of the ball. Going over to the left end. Left end, in my opinion. Another tough one. At this moment in time, I think it's Demarcus Lawrence. Now, Julius Peppers is great. He's really good. But Demarcus Lawrence has better stats, in my opinion. Now, the speed, again, it comes down to what do you like? Do you like the speed or do you like this, the stats? Stat-wise, Demarcus Lawrence... Gets 82 speed, 90 excel, but he's going to get 99 block shed, 99 play rack, 99 finesse move. Cross the board, going to be the most be the best on paper. Now, if you're a guy that hates going up against running quarterbacks and you know you're going to get killed by them and you really need that speed to stop the stretch, then you go with Peppers. Either or will do it. On paper, the Marcus is better. I've heard good things about Peppers. I've used Peppers a few times. Speed's great. So it really comes down to what you value. But again, this is the best players at each position. So I'm going to give you guys like one or two to think about so you're not stuck just like with one that's not going to fit your team. Right end. I think Aaron Donald's end game. I think that's kind of where everyone should be going with this. He's an affordable price. He's three. What is he? 330. You can use your power pass on him. And if you look at him, look at his stats. Great, great athleticism. 99 strength. Going to have 99 power move on my team. 99 block shit. 99 play rec. All around just a beast. And you're done for the year with him. I think you really don't have to be upgrading him. Now coming over to right end. Defense, or defensive tackle, I should say. Defense tackle has a lot of options. I think Warren Sapp is probably the best option because of his pure athleticism. Powered up and Kendall gonna get to 99 block shed, gonna come close to 99 power move, gonna come close to 99 play rec, and he's gonna have great athleticism for a defensive tackle. I mean, you could wait for me and Joe Green, guys. If you have to, if you don't want to get him right now, me and Joe Green will be your second option or Alan Page, but for now, Warren Sapp's a solid option. That's our linebacker. This is a position that I've been struggling with all year. Personally, guys, if you pass rush your outside linebackers, if you pass rush your outside linebackers, you have a few options. I personally don't. I, I mean, if you pass rusher out, you left us a linebacker. I don't. Me personally, I'm waiting still. I want a solid zone outside linebacker with great speed and great height. There's a few decent options so far. Darius Leonard really isn't what I've been looking for as far as that. So for you zone guys, for you zone guys, I wanted Darius Leonard to be that guy. He only has a 77 zone, so he's not going to be that guy this year. Jerome Baker didn't really have the best zone either. I want a guy that just has some crazy, crazy good zone and outside linebacker, left outside specifically. And they just don't have that yet. But for you pass rush guys, any of these guys will work. You can go with JJ Watt. Gonna be a solid pass rusher. Shaq Barrett, he just can't be powered up. And then beyond that, I'd probably, I'd actually, in my opinion, guys, I'm waiting on outside linebacker. Left outside linebacker. They still just haven't dropped my card. But if you're going for a pure pass rusher right now, TJ Watt is probably one of the best pure pass rushers right now with that block shift and S movement speed combo. Now going to the middle linebacker. Middle linebacker, I think new guys are coming right now, so I'd probably end up waiting on this position if I were you guys. I have Shay's ears, so I never really have to look at this, but Patrick Willis is a guy that I'd probably recommend you just power up and set it and forget it. He's gonna get an Ultimate Legend card, and that's gonna have a 99 hit power, probably like an 85 zone. Gonna get to like probably 97 speed, chemmed up, maxed up, powered up, sprinted, every, everything. Great block shed. He's gonna be the best linebacker in the game. I recommend you power up Patrick Willis, and then you just use Shay's ear if you have it. If you don't have Shay's ear and you need a second, it's very, very circumstantial. Seconds are obviously you can go with. You can go with their locker, but he's done getting cards. So, I'd get Willis, and I'd probably wait in the second one. I really wouldn't go for a second one just yet. 
Uh, use whatever you got there. There's more coming. Don't worry. Right outside linebacker. Okay, again, for all you zone guys, it's Fred Warner. If you're a zone guy, you want to get that speed, excel, height, block, shed, tackle, play, rec, zone combo. You can easily get up to a 90 zone, powered up and chemmed up. Now, for all you non-zone guys, you guys that like to pass rush right outside linebacker, I'd go with Lawrence Taylor. He's going to get up ultimate legend soon. He's going to be the best card in the game, probably defensively overall. Can't go wrong with the Lawrence Taylor card. Highly recommend it. Now, let's get over to the cornerbacks. Cornerbacks, again, this is, this is my third for the year, in my opinion. Now, you want to begin. I think you want Deion Sanders. Night Train Lane as your top two. That's my personal take on this. Deion Sanders, overall, he gets the, he gets the glitches and interceptions. He's super athletic. He can make so many plays. He can return to a lot of things. And then Night Train Lane is going to be the block shed, stop the run, hit power. You got to wait for his, not his top one to go down, though. As far as his top piece right over here, he's going to be kind of expensive. I'd wait. They're going to be a new power pass in the future. But Power Dome Chemdub, he's going to get to like a 97, 98 speed, which is more than enough with like close to 99 press, 99 zone, like 97, 96 man gonna be crazy good and he's kind of like uh dion and then for our third one guys i personally want to wait for champ bailey i think champ bailey will be the third per the perfect third cornerback in the slot that's i, I want an uber athletic secondary and i think that's kind of the way to go with it now free safety in my opinion guys end game for a good value it comes down to two guys if you want a good value of free safety to end the game with in my opinion you go right over here sean taylor you call it a day decent price you can use your power pass on him Powered up and chemed up, he gets close to 99 hit power. He gets like a 97, 97 speed with sprinter. He gets really great zone, good man. That's my opinion for a cheap option. Now, if you want to go like a little bit higher, or, or if you want to use your power pass, you could go Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins is a slightly better Sean Taylor, but he's three inches smaller. So if you value the three inches and you don't, these are the two guys you want to be going with. And then coming over to strong safety, I use... Troy Palomalu. I think Troy Palomalu you have to have, even if you have Pat Tillman. If you're on a budget, don't, of course. But Pat, Troy Palomalu, fully powered up and kept up with my team, has like 95 hit power, like 99 zone, close, close to 99 zone at least. He gets the plus three, plus the, nine, the one. He gets like 98 zone. He gets, I believe, a 97 speed, 99 excel, like 99 play rec, guys. Tony, Troy Palomalu is insane. He plays awesome for me. And if you don't have if you don't have him or you don't want to get him, just use Pat Tillman. Guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this gave you guys some insight on what you should be picking up with your positions. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video. Comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And every 80 likes is going to be another 10k given away. Make sure to comment down below like you are. I'm out. Peace.